What's up, Maniacs? Today's the day. Today we're gonna attempt to switch out these door handles for those chrome ones that have the just uh, flimsy PVC plastic cover and put on these gloss black piano ones with the comfort access button. Don't expect that to work at all. It's the only way you could buy these piano black uh, door handles is with the comfort access button. So yeah, let's just see if it's compatible, if it fits, and if so, we'll put both of them on the car and see how it looks. So I shot this video a couple of days ago and I just wasn't happy with it. It's, it's really difficult to show the inside of the door that you have to see in order to uh, move the parts and describe the parts you're gonna move around to install or remove the chrome uh, door handles and replace them with piano black ones. So I'm gonna try and shoot this again. I'm gonna remove the piano black one and then just reinstall it and try and show that process. Uh, keep in mind it's really hard to show the inside of the door um, with the camera. Uh, so I'm gonna have to try and describe what's going on in there the best I can. But yeah, I've been using these for a couple of days now, these piano black door handles, and they have been great. I bought them at outmotoring.com. I'll leave a link in the description where you can get them. I highly recommend them. Awesome upgrade. Remove the chrome ones, put on the piano black ones. That means they don't have to have this uh, really squishy cover on uh, on anymore. Uh, they just feel, feel and look great. Um, the comfort access button, uh, we'll get into that in a, in a little bit. I'm gonna show you if that works or if it doesn't, if you have it uh, already or if you don't. And yeah, let's uh, let's get into it. Okay, we're gonna do the driver's side because the driver's side is more difficult. It has the keyhole, uh, the barrel for the key in the way of where we need to be. And I don't wanna remove that barrel, so I'm gonna show you a workaround that I figured out uh, using a rubber band. The passenger side will be easier because you won't have that uh, barrel in the way and you'll be able to use this long screwdriver. Maybe not this long, but you know, something about this long and it's really gotta be a, a very narrow flat head. Um, if you're really worried about scratching anything, maybe wrap it in electrical tape or something so that you don't scratch anything. But you're gonna need a long screwdriver, you're gonna need a pry tool, and that's about it. So let's, uh, let's get started. So to start, remove this little rubber gasket, which covers a hole, which in there has a screw. And I've read that the bolt uh, isn't supposed to come all the way out, uh, so you don't have to worry about dropping it down in the door. However, on the passenger side, mine came all the way out, so be really careful that you um, don't drop this down into the door. It'd be making for a really bad day. So in there, you can see that there's an Allen bolt. Um, so just, yeah, slowly back that out and that's gonna allow us to take off the uh, plate, which I'll show you in just a second. So here's the plate that we should be able to remove once we've loosened that bolt. And we pull the plate out. There's the plate, there's where the bolt goes into. That's gonna allow us to pop out this gasket and pop out this door handle. So I found the best way to do it is pull out the door handle and then slide it back. And that should release it. Yep, there we go. You can hear that release. I'll remove the gasket, pull it out. Word of caution, when you remove the old door handle, make sure that you either tape this or just make sure it doesn't get sucked back, uh, this wire doesn't get sucked back into the door because then uh, you're gonna have to take apart the entire interior of the door to get that wire back out here. So just be careful, tape it to the screw or something like that. So if we look at the difference here, here's the new piano black one. Here's the old chrome one with the, uh, with the cover. You can see it's chrome on the inside. Uh, you can see that this must be the comfort access uh, plug, which I don't have a wire for and this is for the light. So we'll just do the light one and just leave this one unplugged, which just means our button will be blank, but we should be good to go. Up here is the pivot. It's a little barb. You gotta get the pivot point into. But back here, that's the, uh, this is the part right here. This T grabs that latch pull and pulls on that latch. So we gotta pull that out because it's under tension and get it out, hold it out while we slide this T into that latch. Um, all at the same time, we have to slide our pivot point into the bar in there. So 
a little it's a little easier on the passenger side because you could stick a screwdriver in uh, in this hole where you unscrew the latch and you can just pry up the uh, the, the latch catch with the screwdriver hold it there and then slide the heel of that door handle into it but here on the driver's side we have the door lock barrel in the way um, I can't get my screwdriver in there so I'm gonna show you a way that I figured out how to do it with a rubber band so I get the rubber band around that latch and it's got to be a heavy-duty rubber band so it doesn't snap on you and I can pull that out. I don't know if you can see that, but I can pull that latch pull out and hold it while I try and insert the, insert the door handle. And then I'll just cut this rubber band because then it'll snap back around and come back out. So with my rubber band around that latch pull, I'm gonna pull it out, comes out. I'm gonna hold it there so that I can slide the heel. I'm not getting it out far enough. There we go. Slide the heel of the door handle in there and make sure it catches on the catches on the pivot point in the front as well. So yeah, I've pulled this up all the way. It allows me to slide the heel in, slide the front of the door in into the pivot point. And now it, it's, it's catching like a like a normal door handle. So now now we just cut that rubber band and then we can pull it through. Rubber bands out. And now let's just reinsert the gasket and the door handle is reinstalled. There's just three little clips to get the gasket hooked onto. There we go. We take our key plate and we just insert that back into there. Key plate. And we tighten our bolt. We'll pop that cap back in there. And it's done. There it is. Piano black door handle. So that's it. Sorry this video took so long. It's really difficult to get those shots of uh, what's going on inside the door. Hopefully this helps. Uh, and once you open it up yourself, I think you'll you'll see what's going on in there. But yeah, that's how we remove the uh, chrome door handle with the squishy, just uh, ABS plastic door cover, uh, chrome, chrome delete door cover. Replace it with a piano black mini part door handle. It looks great. Um, doesn't feel squishy like the like the cover did, and it's just it works great. The comfort access button, as you can see, we didn't have anywhere to plug it in, so it doesn't work. It's just a blank button, but it's fine. Uh, it blends in a lot better than the comfort access button does in on a chrome door handle. So, yeah, love it. Super quick install, probably 30 minutes each, each side. So we're looking at like an hour to do the uh, to do the car. So yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Again, I'll leave a link in the description where I bought this and uh, you can uh, get yourself some and install it on your car. If you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to do that. And when you pass another mini, don't forget to wave. Catch you guys in the next one.